Welcome, welcome back to this channel. This is Unfiltered Forex with me, Clement. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to get and interpret CME FedWatch tool. I know that I did a, pre a video previously that was in 2023 showing you how to do it, but there have there has been some changes on the website that you need to take note of. Anyway, so let's begin. Just type cmegroup.com. Once you're here, go to markets. After markets, interest rates, and then tools. Yeah, interest rate tools, CME, Fed Watch. This is now where you want to be. Now, this is the CME, Fed Watch. This is where you want to be. Yeah. As you can see, there's a timer. The next FOMC meeting is in seven days. Yeah, as you scroll down, you're going to see this part. Yeah, I'm sure you know what this is. Let's zoom out a bit. Yeah. So the current target rate is 425 to 450 basis points. And yeah, this is the current one. And the column here shows the market is expecting a pause in the next meeting. And there's a three percent chance of a rate cut in the coming meeting. All right, so this part is only useful in telling you for the coming meeting, the next one, the the next one only. But if you want to see how probabilities are spread across throughout the entire year, you should come here. All right, there is target rates, current probabilities. All right probabilities this is where you want to be yeah you can, you'll find the table here mezzomain all right so as you have seen this is the current rate right this is the current one and therefore all these others are rate cuts going towards the left these are rate cuts to the right these are rate increases and yeah there's a really small chance of any rate increases going forward so that's why the probabilities have been have been spread across the side of the rate cuts and as you can see they updated the probabilities to show not just for the current year but even for the next year full that's why the table is quite big it hasn't always been this big at some point the, some time back it was only showing for a full year but now it's showing even for the next full year all right so what this means currently is that there's a 97 percent chance that the fed is going to pause in the coming meeting this is on march and in the may meeting 64 percent chance of a pause another rate pause and then now the market is expecting on June, that's when the first rate cut of 2025 is going to come in on June, right? And then the second rate cut is expected to come in on September this year, right? So you can see this is one rate cut from. 125 basis point rate cut from this range to this one and then again this is another rate cut so if there's two consecutive meetings that the probabilities the majority of the probabilities are on the same along the same column that means the market is expecting a pause on that meeting right like you can see on this one this is a pause and this is another pause but from on this part coming on to june this is expected to be a rate cut because we are coming from this column to this one right and then again another pause in the june july july meeting market is expecting another pause but you can see the probabilities here are quite evenly distributed that may change as time goes right so again 
this is a pause after one read cut and then on september that's when the market is expecting at the third the second rather the second rate cut of 2025 the market is expecting you to come in on september and these are the probabilities right so and then again on october the market is expecting the final rate cut of the year so there's a total of coming in now from there to here so there's a total of one two three rate cuts being expected this year right yeah because as you can see the columns the probabilities are more to the columns on the left side yeah the market is expecting some rate cuts this year it's exactly three and this is how the market is expecting them to be distributed it may not happen like this these are just probabilities and the good thing about these probabilities is that they affect price action currently as they may not be true right they may not be true but the market is going to react according to what these probabilities are showing right so and then again i wouldn't go as far as explaining the future of interest rates in 2026 because yeah, even before we get to december of this year the table will have changed quite a lot the interest rate expectations would have changed quite a lot so it's important that you keep checking and see if there are any changes on this on these probabilities especially on a weekly basis or on the week where there has some been important economic releases okay so i think that's it for that one the other thing i wanted to show you is that there's a part on that was down here there was another table that was down here but it got removed right it got removed let me show you where it went if you go here to aggregated that's where you'll find the aggregated probabilities that small table on the previous page that was removed it was transferred to its own page and you can see it's showing the aggregated meeting probabilities it's the same table actually it's the same with the other one it's just that the probabilities have been summed up the sum the total they have been totaled to and limited to only two cells you can see it's only two cells on this one only two all these others are zeros 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 only two cells so this is an aggregate of the probabilities if you check the other table you can see there were so many probabilities even on both sides right but on this other one it's only two cells that have the um, probabilities listed so this is a, to give you a more simplified look of the interest rate expectation when 25 ends here so the, this is showing you that the market is expecting again one two three rate cuts for this year right and on top of that it's even showing the probabilities for the rate cuts so you can see there's a 92 percent chance that that first rate cut is going to come in on june right and then of course the second one is expected on july right and the final one the third one is expected on october right so as you can see there can be some slight differences on the on the aggregates versus the other one but yeah it gives you a clear summary of what the market is expecting in the coming year and honestly mm, i don't want to get too much into how price action is, will be affected but yeah that's what you need to know about this tool it's very useful in telling you where the market expectations are so when you see headlines on the news um the media reporting oh the markets are now expecting um four rate cuts this year or maybe three or maybe two 
Yeah, this is the table they're talking about. This is the one. All right, so that's it for this video. I don't have anything else to add. I hope you learned something new. That's it. See you in the next one.